We're never gonna make it to the pony convention now. Hey, my mom made that! I wanted to get that autograph by Charlie! Charlie's a horse! <gasps> oh, butts, oh, butts, oh, butts, oh, butts! What's it this time, Bartholomew? There's, there's, there's something under here! I knew that last bump wasn't a pothole. You know what needs to be done. Uh. Probably just another goose. Don't be a scaredy pony. Oh my god, I think it's a wombat! It's, it's not a goose? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, oh? Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. He's just giving me a hug. No, oh, well, let's take him with us. But what about the engine? Hey, I'm Nathan, and I helped Jop with his short Bartholomew and Cuddy. So I worked with Kevin and Jop uh, to help write the script, and then Cody and I uh, worked together to voice act it. So for the writing process, Jop, Kevin, and I got together, um, and we hopped on a Zoom call like we always do for the writing process, and we started kicking around what would be some funny ideas. And Jop sort of had this vision for uh, this short about two friends that were lost in the woods um, and their car broke down and they were being hunted by this monster. And Kevin and I, uh, of course, kind of piled in on this with some thoughts about, oh, let's try to make this, uh, let's try to make this fun. And so it ends up being this little short about two friends who break down in the desert and have an encounter with a wombat. And so after this writing process, we tried to keep the dialogue very short, very snappy, very fun. And then once we finished writing it, I had the chance to try some voice acting for the first time. Uh, I've been involved with animation for uh, over almost two years now, and I've never had the opportunity to voice a character. So this was really exciting for me. So I took the script to Cody's house and Cody and I fired up his mic and we did some voice acting. And, and you know, I kind of struggled a little bit at first. Uh, Cody really had to help me get into the groove with it. But, but with Cody's help, I was able to voice Bart, um, this guy who is very interested in ponies. So yeah, it was a lot of fun to get to voice Bart. And really the thing that kind of brought it to life for me was I was able to be there with Cody and Cody and I were able just to kind of play off of each other. And in my favorite line, the line about, oh my gosh, it's a wombat. I was struggling so much with that line until Cody was finally just like, all right, here you go, Nathan, I'm gonna help you out. And, and Cody just goes, blah, 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 blah. and I go, ah, and it, it was just, you know, it sounds dumb. But uh, in the moment, that was what I needed. I hope you enjoyed Jop's short, Bartholomew and Cuddy. And again, it was just so much fun to be a part of that project. The first step for me is storyboarding. This will give me a rough idea of what will happen in the final animation. Here are all the panels I drew for my animation. I drew all my backgrounds in different layers in Photoshop so I can position them in 3D space in Cartoon Animator to give more depth to the image. Also I use some cool texture brushes. So for this scene I drew two sprites of the wombat and I copied the sky layer from the other background. The characters were all designed in Photoshop. I use Relusion's PSD templates to rig them. I basically just follow the folder structure of their templates. And I did the exact same thing for this character.
Then in Cartoon Animator, I just set up the 360 head and all of the sprites, and I'm all set. All of the motion is keyframed by me except for one walk cycle. This scene is basically just a camera zoom with the keyframe that scales the car. Spring bones are a new addition to Cartoon Animator 5 and they help me a lot with the smoke animation. The thing I love so much about spring bones is that it's so easy to set up. I always love to compose my final animation scenes. It adds just a little bit more life to it in my opinion. I just use some blurs with different blending modes and some color correction. So for the editing, I just edit the dialogue with the storyboards and put the final animation scenes on top. <laughs> 